Hey, welcome aboard. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verses 2 through 4 today. Let's listen, and then we'll think about it together. So it was that the ark remained in Kirjath Jearim a long time. It was there twenty years, and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. Then Samuel spoke to all the house of Israel, saying, If you return to the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtoreths from among you, and prepare your hearts for the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you from the hand of the Philistines. So the children of Israel put away the Baals and the Ashtoreths, and served the Lord only. Covering a space of about 20 years, uh, 20 years go by after they get the ark back from the Philistines, and it stays, it's not in its supposed to be place, it's in a different place, and, and all Israel laments after it. They recognize it really needs to be brought up, but nobody's standing in front really volunteering to bring it up from that place in Kirjath Jerim. So they must have talked with Samuel. Well, Samuel certainly talked with them, verse 3, and he told them, you know, if you want to bring this back up, if you want God to be in our midst, you need to, you need to put away the foreign gods that are in your midst. You need to put away the Baals and the Ashtoreths. So Baal is a word that just means my Lord or my master, and it was also a word that was used for many of the false gods, the pagan gods, the idol worshiping that was going on. They just called them Baals. Asterisk was that was an image of a Canaanite fertility goddess, and that was another yet another fake god, another false idol. And they had these images, and this was common apparently across the land. That people had Baals and Asterisk. This was idolatry. I mean, you know, this is straight up. Uh, full-tailed, 100% idolatry. And, and Samuel said, look, if you want God's blessing, th this business has to go. So get rid of the Baals, get rid of the asterisk stuff coming in. It's it's coming in from the world, so to speak. It's coming in from the, the fake religions that are nearby, the Canaanite religion and, and all around them. And so they've been, they've been impacted by this. It's come into the church, so to speak. Samuel says, if you really want the Lord's blessing, dump that stuff. Now, the amazing thing is, as we look at the text, Notice he says, if you return to the Lord with all your hearts, I mean, this is a call to full-blown, full-scale, full-out repentance. And notice what we read in the text. Uh, put away, put these away, prepare your hearts for the Lord, serve him only. This is, again, this very exclusive, it, there, there's only one true God and everything else is a false God. And so it's not just a matter of fashion or what's fashionable or what's stylish or what the current favorite God is or something. This is the one God, the one monotheistic God. It's him or nothing. And notice then uh, what's amazing is verse 4. And this doesn't happen all the time in the Bible, but verse 4 again to say, So the children of Israel put away the Baals and the Ashtoreths and served the Lord only. So, so there was a response, an amazing response of repentance across the land throughout all Israel. There was a general full-blown repentance. But there it was. There it was. The prophet called for it because God told him to, and the people complied. And so there you have this. Uh, th this conditions are now set for God to do more good things for Israel. But it's taken 20 years. 20 years, a generation or a half a generation has gone by. Sometimes the older generation doesn't want to change in an appropriate way. Uh, and then you just have to wait for the new generation to come. God forbid that that should happen to us, but let us be faithful and help us to not have to wait 20 years because we're somehow stuck on something. Let's find out what God's will is and let's do it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we're looking into your word, we're noticing this amazing incident of repentance that is recorded here in this chapter 7. We want to see it in our churches, so we want to give ourselves to you, Lord. Please, please. Come into our hearts, give us the full-scale, raw, naked repentance, transform us, change us, and Lord, may we come to the foot of the cross and be true to Jesus. Lord, this is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. So how about it? Are there any bales for you to put away? Any asterisks for you to put away? No, not with those silly names. But maybe, maybe something else that stands in kind of that kind of a situation to you or I. Find it, dump it. Hey, God be with you today as you figure out where we need to draw closer to the Lord Jesus. God be with you.